I got an email from a customer yesterday who said that when he sent his t-shirt graphic to a screen printer that the texture that he had put in the design was missing. And this is all about linked versus embedded files in Adobe Illustrator. So I've got this texture selected and it's a bitmap TIFF. Actually, let me move it over here so you can see it. So it's off the artboard and um, this is a bitmap TIFF texture. And the nice thing about these textures is that you can apply any color to them and they're transparent and they're perfect for t-shirt designs. And there's a feature in Illustrator that allows you to either link or embed these bitmap or pixel-based images. And you can see that this has got an X over it and that indicates that it's linked. So with t-shirt design, really you're never going to want to link a texture. You're always going to want to embed it. The reason for linked files in Illustrator kind of goes back to like desktop publishing and making say like a magazine where you've always got a, a layout and you want the files to be linked just to keep your file size low. And also if you're working on these placed images, they'll update whenever you go back into Photoshop and, and change the image, it'll update in your Illustrator file. It's kind of a live thing. But anyway, with t-shirt design, you don't want to link files because typically you're only going to have one or two uh, textures in your file. So there's no reason, like it's not like you want to keep the file size low or anything like that because these bitmap textures are so low um, memory wise that it's not going to bog down your file and it's not going to make your file size large. So anyway, there's two ways to get your linked file embedded. So if the file is already in your Illustrator document, you can go to your links panel and that's just window links if you don't have it open. And what you want to do is just make sure you've selected that image by clicking on it. And then you're going to want to go here where it says relink. So what you want to do is have this unchecked right here. So uncheck that link and then place it in it. It's now embedded. And also this little icon right here indicates that your image is embedded. Let me undo that. It's now linked again. Um, there's another way to do the same thing is you can just go up here to the embed button, it should be at the top of your screen. That'll embed the file. Um, the other way to make sure your image is embedded and not linked is when you go to file place, that's that Plastisol 6 texture. And just make sure this link is unclicked. So have it unclicked. And when you place it in there, it will be embedded. Now you can save your AI file, send it off to the screen printer, and the textures will no longer be missing.